All right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday to each and every single one of you. Uh, yeah, we're back for the uh, the market minute um, Friday edition style. Actually, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I I don't know. I I, I like doing these. I, I'll do them uh, every other week uh, just to kind of, kind of keep every body aware of what's happening uh, on not only the secondary market for a few. Um, few coins that probably have released uh, like this week we're going to touch on it one more time the v75 and end of world war ii coins that came out and within the last 10 days from the u.s mint everybody wants to know where these things sit at and um uh just kind of i guess road mapping pro projections that sort of thing where it's kind of tough you know it can be tough uh, i mean there are a few uh few things in the marketplace that could certainly alter the future marketability investment potential for some of these coins but i'll give it my best shot what can i say so i have a few things i uh, wanted to talk about before we dive into the actual uh, i guess main topic which are those v75 secondary market sales activities uh first and foremost we got the blue ridge silverhound uh holiday giveaway that will be launching this sunday November 15th? Yep, I knew it. Nailed it. November 15th, which is on Sunday, and um, I do this every year. I've done it for, I think, the last four or five years uh, to pretty good success. And uh, this year, we are continuing the tradition. Now, everybody needs a little bit of kind of like that light at the end of the tunnel for 2020, and hopefully, hopefully, this will be uh, a small component to what we're about ready to see to cap off this very tumultuous year for a lot of people. So I want to thank each and every single one of you for hanging tough, uh, not only on my channel, but the collective coin YouTube, I guess, uh, community, uh, as we continue to forge on, you know, to a, uh, a very, very um, successful and a very interesting 2021 coming up here. Uh, so the holiday giveaway. Okay, a lot of great stuff. Again, tune in for the launch video this Sunday. Uh, I'll probably end up doing it in between football games or something like that. Um, but yes, we got that. Okay, second thing I wanted to let you guys know is that we have, uh, including myself, we have a collective live stream where we talk about uh, coins that people have submitted via email. No longer are you going to be able to just send me an email to my account. Okay, that's all going to get... Um, uh, either rerouted to the uh, the other email, which I'll give you here in a moment, uh, or I'm just going to change it up so that way everything just goes right there. Uh, that way you're going to have a full panel of expert coin people to talk and discuss your coins, whether it's we send you an email letting you know what you have, whether it's a damaged coin or if you have something legit, we'll talk about that. Or... Or, you know, your coin might make it onto our live stream, which happens every Monday, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. And that's Live Coin Q&A. That's the name of our channel. I'll actually probably put the channel uh, link down below. So that way you guys can go over and uh, subscribe. And go ahead and check out our, uh, our Monday uh, streams, which we do, again, every Monday, 8.30 Pacific. 5.30 or 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. I confused myself for a second, and it's just not like me. Well, actually, it happens with old age, I guess. Uh, so live coin Q&A. You get to meet the other panel members, too, all in which have their own separate YouTube channel. So you're going to have a lot more friends here coming up. If you have coin questions, I personally invite you to send them on over to our email, email info at livecoinqa.com. All right, and that's info at livecoinqa.com. And then we will go ahead and take care of it for you. Usually you'll get an answer uh, within that week because um, we're, we're usually setting up for the Monday show. So more than likely you're, you're, you are going to get an answer to the questions if you're gonna submit photos just make sure they're nice and clear you have a full picture of the front of the coin and the back of the coin in addition to any close-ups that you could get into for the um, diagnostics and the variety and the error that you are questioning 
Okay, so go ahead and check that out as well. So let's go ahead and dive into what the silver and gold market is looking like for the day, and we are on coinflation.com. Uh, it's one of my favorite sites, plus they give you little articles and stuff about things to uh, get you pumped up uh, from the market. But as we can see, we have silver is currently up 38 cents. Let me go ahead and give this a little refresh. Uh, no, okay, so it's up 40 cents to $24.70. Gold is up $14.39 to $18.91 and 89 cents. Uh, we've seen a couple uh, pretty uh, sharp drop-offs earlier in the week of both silver and gold as the markets went up. Um, and uh, looks like silver has rebounded quite nicely. It was down about buck fifty or so on that day. And then gold had dropped off uh, like... Uh, what, 90, 100 bucks, and somewhere around there. I believe that was either Monday or Tuesday. But anyways, silver has rebounded. Gold is almost there. It's um, slowly making little, uh, you know, it's chipping away at some of the losses. I think people are just, uh, you know, profit-taking or they're shifting money into actual stocks and all that stuff um, with some stability. Uh, I don't know how that's going to be with, the, uh, the vaccine that's going to be coming out. There's a lot of things in play. We're not going to get too far into that. Uh, that could be a conversation for another time. But it's nice to see that, you know, we're beginning to make headway toward this uh, COVID-19 mess uh, that's been just ravaging the country. And um, I'm afraid to say it, but uh, retail uh, industries, they get hit even hard. So we'll see how that all goes and plays out. Um, but in any event, that is the, uh, the PM prices. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into uh, what you guys are waiting for. So you guys hate seeing this recap, I'm sure, but there, there are a number of you. There's actually a great deal of you that are asking about the, uh, the 2020 West Point V75 Silver Eagle, Gold Eagle, in addition to the end of World War II uh, Silver Medal and the Gold Coin. All right, so we're going to take a close look at what we have there. All right, so this coin was released on November 5th uh, to the mintage of only 1,945 pieces, and that's the V75 American Gold Eagle with the V75 Privy Mark. Um, extremely low mintage. There were a lot of people that thought that, oh, you know, they, I guess if you were going to look at these releases from the standpoint of just a purist, gold and silver bug person, person that likes to just stack, okay? And all they believe in is actually obtaining these things um, at their melt value or maybe just a little bit above that, okay? It's like going to a coin shop and buying 10 silver eagles, right? You wouldn't expect to pay um, $200 a silver eagle unless the actual market was at that price point. But silver, as you see, is at $24 and some change. So we, you know, realistically we would want to pay like 27 28 bucks per eagle okay these are different as we all know silver and gold eagles with their respective designs by adolf wyman and the, the saint godens uh, are two of the most widely publicly traded i guess uh bullion pieces from an, an actual mint facility okay and then you could add in the uh the, the mexico libertad which preceded the Silver Eagle and the Canadian Maple Leaf, and that's primarily why in 1986 they released a Silver Eagle for the U.S. Mint, okay? And it was, at that time, being seen as, here's our bullion release, go ahead and trade away with it, okay? And that's what it was. That's what it was intended for. Now, here we are, 35 plus years later, or somewhere around there, okay, we have these phenomenal coins that release. So the most recent, the Gold Eagle with a sub-2,000 mintage limit, some would say, okay, yeah, whatever. But I told you guys, it's going to be a very expensive coin on the secondary market, okay? I think it's exceeded my expectations um, there. I, I, you know, I didn't think it would be a five-figure coin raw, totally wrong. Uh, I knew it was a five-figure coin graded, especially as a proof 70 first day of issue, and then this one, this bad boy right here, totally just blew away what I thought the coin would sell on the secondary market raw. And that's the V75 American Silver Eagle. 
much higher mintage limit at 75,000. Now it's nothing compared to the 2019 S enhanced reversed proof coin that was sold last fall um, by a huge margin. I mean, that coin had less than 30,000 pieces produced. This one is 75. I mean, you see the, the bigger picture here. So we're gonna take a look at these two, and we're also going to take a look at these two coins here that also sold four days later, okay? And then there was a lot of hype on these two pieces individually, hot off the heels of the gold and silver eagle that sold a few days prior. So we have the silver medal, what's called the end of World War II 75th anniversary, this one is produced in Philadelphia. It was originally issued at $75. Keep that in mind, okay? And it had a very low mintage of 20,000 pieces. And you can understand why that this particular item, it's, not, it's in hindsight, it's not a coin, okay? It's a metal because it doesn't have any anything else on it, no, no physical 2020 date or what have you. Hot off the heels of that V75, people saw the potential in this particular item. Now, the gold coin is interesting, okay? It had a price point of $13.35. It is half ounce of silver, 24 karat. I think it's half ounce. And yeah, 0.5 troy ounce, yes. So it's half an ounce of uh, 24 karat gold, much lower mintage at 7500 all right, and it's an extremely attractive looking coin. This one has the uh, the reeded edge on there. As you can see, it's got those lines that grip on the edge. It's got, you know, it's it's got an actual date, 2020. This piece was produced in West Point. You can see the little W mint mark next to the word war on the obverse of the coin. So this is the other one that, uh, don't get me wrong, both pieces sold out right away within an hour the websites crashed it was pandemonium it was anarchy all the way around and um, a lot of pissed off clients as a result now i will tell you this the u.s mint after the release of the v75 silver and gold eagles had posted something on their facebook page just trying to get an overall temperature check of how people liked or disliked the checkout process it's been crazy. And if you read through it, man, there were a lot of people that missed out. A lot of extremely upset customers as a result of how this all kind of shook down. I was successful in obtaining one of the V75 Silver Eagles. And that was it. I was not interested in either the silver medal end of World War II or the gold coin that was also released at the same time. But we are also going to take a look at the secondary market values of all four of these pieces respectively, okay? And that's where we jump into the uh, the eBay listings and we're just gonna kind of like go on down the line, okay? So it's, we're not gonna look at too many live listings. People are asking anywhere from five to $600 for a raw coin with confirmed shipping. Now, I received my coin today. I'll probably do a reveal video later on. I'm not sure. Um, still undecided if whether or not I'm going to send that off to PCGS. But if I do, someone, there are a number of people interested in seeing how that process works. I'd be more than happy to do that. But we have this one here, which is six days out. That is already up to $495 with $8 shipping. As you can see, it's got a picture of the actual box on there uh, but i'm really interested in seeing sold items that are most recent and as you can see sales are extremely robust again it blew away my personal expectations on what i felt like the secondary market would do on the silver eagle especially in raw form i figure all of the value would come when it's graded like a proof 69 i feel like should be five to six hundred dollars a proof 70 i thought would be about eight hundred dollars just based off of vintage figures and previous performance data so what i see here is a coin with a lot of staying power and 10 days after release 
for this coin. It just about 10 days. I mean, that coin was released on the 5th. Today's the 13th. So eight days, eight days after release, we're still seeing strong sales, if not simply a little bit better sales than what we've seen. All right, so we've seen some best offers come in. I, I, this one right here was kind of a steal, if and only if. You know, it may not show anything as in regards to uh, an actual confirmed shipment, but you see order shipped. The, the orders that say order shipped on eBay have been performing a little bit better, about 10% better than those examples without it. And then, of course, we see graded examples starting to sprinkle in there some pre-sales, keeping in mind that so, there are a few of these that are currently at NGC and PCGS. So we're probably, these folks are probably maybe 10 to 14 days away from actually getting the coins back and being able to send them to the clients. So this is $1,000 for a Proof 70 in an NGC slap, as you can tell. Five to six hundred dollars. It used to be that this was right around four fifty to five fifty. So it's increased a little bit. My feeling is, after a while, this particular coin right here will begin to kind of flatten out and then dip a little bit. I could see this possibly dipping down to maybe four four fifty. After a while, after things have died down on it. Okay, there's still so much buzz even at eight days after the release of the coin. So that's where we're at right here. And here's a PCGS Proof 70 decamp uh, for $1,300. And that's a pre-sale. So that's where the uh, Proof 60, uh, Proof 70s, uh, sorry, are heading to. So let's go ahead and add gold. Let's take a look at what the, the low vintage gold pieces look like. And uh, there you go. So if best offer was accepted yesterday, from fourteen thousand dollars, and I can tell you that these have been selling for between twelve to thirteen. They were coming in hot after release upon a confirmed bid order for around eight to ten thousand dollars, like I had mentioned in a previous video. Uh, here's one that sold for twelve five in hand. Keep in mind that's the, that's the key. It's either got to be confirmed ship or in hand to get all of the money. If you don't have that, then you are not going to you know, see anything come from it. Uh, we got 12-1, because at this point, a lot of the coins are in people's hands. Folks have ordered this particular coin and have paid for the expedited shipment. So that's where a lot of the much stronger sales are starting to come in, is with a confirmed order or a physical in-hand product. So we're seeing 12, 12 6 here. Okay, this one is a local pickup option only. Here's a batch deal. We'll get into that later. Here's another gold for 11, 121, 11,000, 620. That's on November 10th. But as you guys can see, there's not a whole lot of them out on the secondary market. There was even one that sold for 15,000 on November 9th. That was uh, four days after release. All right. So very, very hot. We're looking at Five times issue price. That that was a coin that was released at twenty six hundred dollars, which is cheap, and a huge flip opportunity. Now let's go ahead and check out the end of World War uh, Silver, and then you guys get to see. Now remember, this was a coin that was issued at seventy five dollars. If you obtain one, you can make. $100. Now you got to keep in mind you got back away some of the fees. Uh, uh, eBay's fees is $17.50 off of the sale. Okay, it's free shipping. You have throw shipping in there. And if you are accepting PayPal payments, that's another 3%. So it's like it's whittling down at the end of the day. This person is probably making $60 because you also have to fig factor in shipping on the US mint side of it too, because that's five bucks if you went with the cheapest rate. But the coins have been uh, flim flamming all over the place. Uh, they, they were selling in uh, pre-sale wise for like four or 500 bucks, much like the B75 Silver Eagle, but these have dropped down considerably. And it's very predictable, okay? I had said that these coins right out of the gate would start off strong and then they will plummet. 
for the mere reason that these are seen in the same kind of category as commemoratives. Commemoratives don't have that punchy secondary market. They never will, they never have, and it it's going to continue on for the rest of its days. Only because commemoratives are just not popular. They're way out of favor, they're overproduced. I would say the last 20 years of commemorative issues and designs have been lackluster at best. Okay, not taking anything away from the actual, uh, uh, the, the, um, the subject, you know, like the Boy Scouts and all that great stuff, because those are all worthwhile causes. But at the end of the day, people just don't see these as a hot, as a future investable collectible, and they never will. So, uh, yeah, here's another one for $150. Talk about barely squeaking in with a little bit of profit. And at that point, it's really not all that worth it if you're just getting into it for $40 profit. So, as you can see, just uh, just incredibly low standard of profit taking there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gold. And we will see that, remember, this has an issue price of $1,335. Here's one that's sold for $1,600 in packaging in hand. Where's the profit? You'd be lucky to make about $100, $150 profit on that by the time you factor in fees. Because the fees off the eBay alone on this is $160. That's a lot of money. And if you take that away, you're at $1,440. $1,440, that's $105 of profit, and then it's free shipping, and then you got to factor in whatever shipping costs that you had paid initially to have it, have it sent over to you. In this case, they probably expedited it and paid like the 15, 20 bucks for uh, overnight shipping. As you can see, there's virtually no profit in any of these coins. Like I said, I, I knew that was going to happen, and uh, it was no surprise, so I'll Pat myself on the back for that one, and that is primarily why that I lay off coins like this. There are people, there are scores of people that had reached out to me uh, through my uh, my comments on the videos talking about these type of coins, and have said, "No, it will sell for a lot of money. It's got a low mintage." I'm like, you don't understand. I've been tracking and trending these type of coins, these type of products, for over 20 years. Okay, if it if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, more than likely it's a duck. And I tell you what, it's a beautiful coin, but I saw it coming, guys. Your only real shot at making any sort of money on these if you, is if you sent them out to PCGS and hope that you get a proof 70. You probably double up your money, maybe double up your money on something like this. I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket. There are people that just don't like grading um, because of the, the extra expense that's involved or having to wait for your coin to come back. People are very right now people. They're spur of the moment. This is a coin right here that is 100% spur of the moment profitability. And if it's not there, people get kind of salty towards stuff like this. All right, so as you can see, it's just continuing to drop. I mean, we're at $1,700, you know, uh, best offers pouring in. This one's $1,900. I mean, that one's pretty decent, but, you know, uh, you know, these are coins that can be returned. <laughs> they can be unwound for any reason. It, a, it can be something as dumb as, like, I changed my mind. But there you go. Uh, the prices are still dropping. Okay, we were at... $1,700, $1,800, we're at $1,600. You're gonna see this continue to drop close to issue price because it just has no secondary market punch. So, I mean, personally, I wouldn't hold on to them as a long-term investment. Commemoratives always tend to get lost in the mix, okay? Even a year after release, people won't care about this anymore. The Silver and Gold Eagle that was released on the 5th, they will continue to care about those. Okay, that's why the 2019S Enhanced uh, Silver Eagle that sold with such fanfare last year continues to be a wildly expensive coin because it's a Silver Eagle. They're a collectible, all right? It's outside of the actual silver component of it. It's a collectible, and it's going to be a long-term investing gauntlet. So that's that. 
So with that being said, we are going to end it off on uh, what kind of auctions and events are happening between now and the beginning of December. Okay, we are already coming up to the middle of November. This holiday season needs to slow itself down. So that way I can enjoy it a little bit better. We're already getting Christmas decorations out, if you can believe that mess. However, uh, Heritage Auctions uh, has a signature U.S. coin sale that is going to be ending on November 22nd. If you're looking to add a marquee piece to your collection, I would highly suggest jumping on there and seeing what they have. Keep in mind, the inventory of quality, collectible, classic U.S. coins is continuing to drop, all right? Uh, as inventory begins to drop, there's less quality out there, okay? So people are buying second-rate, third-rate, fourth-rate tier coins, and you just don't want to get yourself in the position of owning a turd, all right, if you know you're going to sell it two years later down the road because the inventory will pick up eventually once the economy gives itself a boost. And this is all after COVID is over and done with. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Stax Bowers has the... Uh, Naples Bay collection that's going to be going on between now to there's an auction ending now for US coins from that collection all the way up to next week all right so there's going to be like a sprinkle of various different types of really nice high quality coins from that collection there's also a uh, US currency sale that's going to be going on I believe next uh, next week for from Stax Bauer so check that out and then finally, Legend Auctions has their Regency 42 uh, catalog up on their website. Go ahead and check it out. That event is on December 3rd, and there's actually a live event from Las Vegas at the Park MGM. So if you guys are in town, you're in L.A., you want to drive over, and you will look at some really, really nice coins. The Legend 42, uh, or Regency 42 auction from Legend Auctions will be in town on December 3rd with the live auction. So go ahead and check that out. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to go ahead and do it for this edition of the Friday Market Minute. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Don't forget to check out live coin Q&A uh, channel. That's a panel that I'm a part of for the live stream once a week. And uh, send us your coin questions. Info at livecoinqa.com. I look forward to seeing you guys there on Monday night. You guys have a phenomenal weekend. Stay tuned for the PCMR report, which will be launched, I believe, tomorrow morning. And uh, that's going to do it. So you guys have fun. Enjoy the hunt. If you guys are doing some roll hunting, it's a lot of fun. And uh, inventory is beginning to loosen up out there. I have a few banks that actually have rolls and boxes available. So maybe I'll do one of those this weekend as well. And uh, Sunday is the, uh, the Blue Ridge giveaway event. Uh, stay tuned for that as well. It's going to be a packed weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one. And uh, Coinaholics, we're discovering together. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.